Hello everyone, I'm Deb Courtney. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been in a hurry? Has things kind of left something that you really needed it and you found out about it, that you left it when you got to your destination? Or it costed you more because it was in a hurry than if you had taken your time? Yeah, I think we've all been there. Well, that's my topic today. It has to do with what's with all the hurry. This has to do with the Lifestyle matter series that I am doing right now here this fall. And it looks like it's going to take me fall and part of the winter to, to do this, but that's okay. So I have eight helpful hints for you today for those who happen to be in a hurry. And the first one just happens to be, I got it written down here, being in a hurry increases the mistakes you may make. Yep. Can you raise your hand to that? I can. I can. You can make fatal mistakes that only succeed in slowing you down. And you know what? When you have witnessed that and when you have experienced that personally, you kind of have a tendency to kind of not be in a hurry the next time, right? Exactly. Okay. So that was number one. Number two is you often have to redo everything you have done when you're in a hurry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's me. Being in a hurry may leave something undone and it costs you more in the end. I've done that. I think I've done that more than one time. But I, you pretty, there's not, if you've lived on the face of this planet long enough, you'll come across that sooner or later. I just believe people, we, we, we're human. We do, we do, we do that. So yeah. Okay. This is the third one. Extraordinary achievers are never in a hurry. And I'm thinking, well, why not? You can be an extraordinary achiever and be in a hurry, but they do not rush to do anything. I know people. Oh, I'm thinking, what is wrong with you? Hurry up. Let's go. Get it done. But they just slow mode. They don't get in a hurry. They don't, and you, I know you've come across people like that. They do not get in a hurry. They, you cannot rush them in anything. And, but you know what? I'm glad they're there because it's, it's like I, you know, I do what I do and I don't glad they're like they are, but I'm not going to change them. Nobody's going to change them, but. You can really see they ha they have meticulously thought it out, and it, 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 like engineers or uh, I have I have relatives that are like that. They they sit down, they think about what they're going to do, and they meticulously plan it out. They lay it out. They get them a graph paper, and they, you know, and and plan it out. And what you know, just like. Just like you bring in a whole uh, design of a house you're going to build, the house plans, you know? Okay, yeah. And it seems like they do that on everything. I know they basically don't, but I've been there. And I've, I've it's just, you, it, <laughs> sometimes you just work with them. And it, but it's not a bad thing. It's nothing negative. It's just, it is what it is. Okay, uh, number four. Listen quietly to worthy counsel before making a decision. There is wisdom in the counsel of many. If there's anything that you're interested in becoming or doing, the business that comes to my mind is has to do with investing. And so I wanted to get people's different perspective on investing and what all that looked like and where I should go, what I should do, what should I stay away from. 
And so I was not in a hurry to make those decisions because I needed the counseling from different people to take me to where I wanted to be. So I talked to people about it. They gave me their insight. They gave me their advice. They gave me their knowledge. They told me about people I could contact. And so that's what I did. I did my due diligence in that. And I was not in a hurry. And I'm glad of that. So um, I'm out of time right now. So glad you found me. I'm glad I found you. Go out and make it a great day. And I will finish this up next week. See you then.